Since the start of the premium trading signals group, we have had over 11 winning trades and over a 70% win rate. So if you want to join this group and learn more about trading crypto, make sure to check out the links down in the pinned comment for both the Telegram and the Discord group where you can find more information on how to join the signals group. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great weekend. And, uh, and welcome to this new video on Ethereum. Wanted to do a full update on that. Yesterday was a pretty bearish day, as most of you know. Um, compared to Bitcoin, we've actually not fallen that much, but still we are quite bearish. And we need to talk about that, at least on the short term. Um, so, uh, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the fundamental environment of, uh, of crypto right now, which has, um, in my eyes, changed a little bit, or at least it's, it's close to changing quite a lot. Uh, so we'll talk about that as well, just to give you a full overview of this weekend and uh, and, and what to expect. Purely technically, as you can see, we, we really started the downtrend, you could say from like the 16th, so almost nine days ago. Um, from there, we started creating lower highs and, uh, and we have really respected that in the last couple of days. And then yesterday when news came out that the new home sales was way higher than expected, and that the PCE price index and personal spending was also higher than expected, um, we dropped down even more. And the main reason for that is that, that both of these indicators work really, they work the inflation rate. And basically it confirms what we've also seen with the unemployment rate, which was lower than expected, and more economic numbers in that, uh, in that kind of trend. It looks like the inflation is not done yet. Uh, which is bearish because that will, will probably lead to uh, more interest rate hikes which is bad for risk on assets and just in general the uh, the, the the monetary policy was was going in a, in a in a more bullish way for for crypto and for for stocks but right right now it seems to have reversed what you can also see with the dollar strength index has been very bullish um, this has not reversed yet and i wouldn't say that crypto has reversed and is bearish right now but we're close to it I mean, right now, I think we'll continue, even though we have the 200 EMA here, I think we'll continue this bearish momentum all the way down to this level right here at, at 1575. Take a break, retest, and then I think we'll drop down to this level between uh, 1560 and 1540. Uh, and, and that's really the most important level, because if this breaks, I will consider Ethereum as bearish. And then I think the chances are pretty likely uh, that we're going to go into a downtrend. And it kind of correlates with, with the dollar strength index. I mean, right now, the dollar strength index is nearing this major resistance level around 105.5. If that breaks, I think it has officially reversed and it's bullish again. And as most of you know, it's negatively correlated with, with crypto. So if this is bullish again, crypto will more than likely be bearish again. Um, right now, though, I mean, as I said, we're, we're still in the middle. I mean, the dollar strength index hasn't broken above this yet. Ethereum has uh, Ethereum is still holding on fairly well. We're at 1600. I mean, if you would have told us that we were at 1600 um, um, a, a month ago, we were we, we would have probably been like, all oh, right, well, that's that's not even that bad. We're just in the middle of the consolidation. So um, it's not the end of the world yet. It's just that the fundamental kind of image and fundamental environment seems to have changed, and it seems to have changed for the worse. Um, so we'll see. I think we'll drop down to this level around 1560, 1540. That will not easily break, uh, but kind of depending on what the dollar strength index does and what kind of touch we initially get off of that level, we can better determine whether from here we are able to hold it and, uh, and, and break above 1600 again and continue our bullish momentum uh, or whether it's more likely that sure we'll find some support, but that it's just one stop along the way in our fall all the way down to 1500 and 1560 again. Um, I'll keep you updated on that, of course. I'm, uh, I'm uh, practically behind the charts all day right now, so don't worry about that. I'm trying my best, but um, yeah, pretty tough times. As I said, I'll keep you updated, but for now, that's my take on Ethereum. So enjoy your weekend. Take care and bye.